Hi, it's Gamer Paulie back with another video, and this time it's the Escapist on the Xbox One. A fun, quirky, and entertaining little prison sandbox game. Play it however you like, there's no wrong or right way of uh, doing it. And basically, we're in the starter prison. Uh, kind of acts like the tutorial one, so this is the easiest one to escape from. Uh, lots of different ways you can escape, um, but basically, I'm going to take you through my escape plan. Huge uh, general hints and tips, do's and don'ts in the game. Um, first of all, then I'm going to talk about jobs. And job space is where you can earn some money in the game, and the ones to avoid are probably the beatdowns. The reason why I say that is if you beat someone down, they tend to pest you for the rest of the game, beating you up wherever you are. Uh, the best jobs are the ones where you've got to get an item back for someone, steal an item, cause a ruckus at breakfast, lunch or dinner. Um, don't mind beating up the guards as well, because they tend to, to leave you alone after a while. Um, so they're the, the best, uh, best jobs to have. Uh, my escape plan then, um, basically consisted of two flimsy shears, a guard uniform and some rope. All right, and to make these items, uh, the rope I've basically found in, some, in a desk, but to basically to make some, it's two bed sheets together, uh, that'll, that'll do for the rope. The guard uniform, basically and I do the laundrette job, and basically wash a dirty uniform, basically that's it, you got a guard uniform there. Uh, two flimsy shears then, uh, basically consists of two files and some duct tape, uh, you're going to buy the files off an inmate, steal them from a, from a drawer, um, basically that's what the flimsy shears consist of, two files and, and duct tape. Uh, right onto my escape plan then, that little desk you see next to my bed there, basically climbed up on it and there's a vent in the ceiling. Using a screwdriver or a file, you can take the vent out, uh, the object will break after so long as well. Would have been thrown in solitary confinement so it's really important you make a fake vent cover. Uh, I'm sure you're wondering how on earth do I make a fake one. Basically it's three times paper mache. And you're going to also wondering how on earth do I make paper mache? Well, that's fairly straightforward as well. Basically, toilet roll and glue makes one paper mache. You need three lots of that to make a fake vent cover. You also make a fake wall, which is basically ink and paper mache, a fake fence. That's three times wire. But as we're escaping through the vent system onto the roof, we're going to need a fake vent cover. So as I said, that's three times paper mache. Um, roll calls in the game, really important. You don't skip any of them. They'll come and search for you. You lose all your items. Get thrown inside tree confinement. Um, one of the things I've also discovered in the game as well is the keys on guards. It's really tempting to steal them, try and make a break for it, but don't. Um, what you'll need to do is instead of stealing the key, you need to make a copy of the key. Go into that into the second video on the other prison. You'll need to make a, a key on the second prison to escape. Those of you fairly new to the game wondering what little flash on, flashing symbols are, green means the guy's got a job for you. Like I said, avoid the beatdown ones unless you're going for the achievement of knocking people unconscious, um, but you can do that anyway. Yellow symbols means they'll trade with you if they don't like you, they won't sell to you. Uh, you can increase that by giving them things like playing cards, dice and food. Um, the give job um, quest, I found that quite annoying. It's the don't have a yellow symbol above the head. I couldn't give them any items, so that needs fixing. As I said, don't skip the evening roll call. If they do, roll call. If they do, if you do, uh, they will throw you in solitary confinement. On to my escape plan then. Basically, as I said, two flimsy shears, guard uniform and rope. So you can make the rope if you want to. Up onto the desk, um, out through the uh, fake vent cover. Uh, there was a couple of walls here, um, which I cut down with the screwdriver. I didn't put them back. Onto the, uh, onto the ladder, onto the roof. I'm going to use the rope now to climb down. So you don't have to have proper rope, you can use the bed sheet rope, which is just fine. Outside, at night, you must have a guard uniform on. If you don't, they'll throw you back inside tree confinement. Um, by doing any dodgy activity at all, digging, cutting fences, etc., you must not get spotted. I've been spotted loads of times, and again, you lose all your items, thrown back in the shoe, and that's it, all your progress has been wasted. Guard come in there, you go, I'll stop what I'm doing, uh, cutting the fence again. Uh, you can climb over the fence as well, I think with a grappling hook, but I'm starting to cut through the fence. So glad I made two shivs as well, um, like I said one broke there, so again make more than what you need, whether it be two shivs, two packs, pickaxes, and there you go, fence down, off I go to freedom. Gamer Michael Scully pull for poorly escapes, uh, that's not me on the screen by the way, the naked man, man running away, uh, it's me poking my head out the hole. Um, right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave any comments and suggestions as usual. If you've got any recipes for me or you'd like to know any recipes, uh, please drop me a line. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. This is Game of Paulie signing off, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.